Hello folks and thank you for coming and a big shout out uh, and a thanks to those at the Grammy Museum who put this together. You know who you are, Chris, Trisha. Um, I wish I could be there, but unfortunately I have a front row seat at uh, a ticket at Carnegie Hall for my favorite band. Uh, so my brief introduction to the film on my dad, um, you know, my dad, me, he began playing clubs uh, like Mitchell's Hotel in 1947 on Beale Street with B.B. King. He played with B.B. King's band. Uh, and Dad sat in with the band on many occasions. Uh, he told me it was on Beale Street where he first heard rock and roll in 1942, being played by a band called Tough Green and the Rockettes. Uh, that was 10 years before Elvis came on the scene at Beale Street. Uh, since those early days performing, Dad's, you know, he's written over 240 songs, 58 albums, and many of those have been recorded, those, his songs have been recorded by other commercial artists from all genres, which I find interesting. Uh, punk musicians, Iggy Pop, The Clash, blues musicians, Buddy Guy, Johnny Winter, country musicians, Willie Nelson, Marty Stewart, um, Bluegrass musicians, Vassar Clements, and of course rock musicians that really saved them here. Uh, the Who, Foo Fighters, Leon Russell, Eric Clop, Clapton, so on, so on. And folk musicians, Dave Van Ronk, the Kingston Trio, Bobby Gentry. Um, so there was some kind of universal thing going on there with Dad's songs, which I think is great. Um, uh, Dad, he was fortunate to be nominated three times for a Grammy. He never did attend an awards show. Uh, mostly because he was booked somewhere in Des Moines, Iowa, or wherever it was. And in 60 years of on-the-job training, as he calls it, he never missed a single gig. Uh, I asked him once why he never wanted to go to the Grammy Awards. He responded with, I don't believe in renting shoes. Yeah, right. Uh, he did, however, write something for me to read when accepting an award on his behalf. And this is what... I read on the few occasions where I accept an award on his behalf. And so dad wrote, there are very few places in the world where a person could have heard as many different kinds of music as I was able to hear growing up in Tippo, Mississippi. Also, the aphorisms, the ironies, the speech patterns, and their exaggerations and understatements have served me well and are still a part of my dialogue with myself. Um, he also tagged on, if it takes a village to raise a child, then I was certainly raised by Tippo, Mississippi. Um, finally, I wanted to bring this to your attention. Um, I wanted to share this with you, something published from an interview in a music magazine in the 80s, and I always just thought it hit it on the nail here. It said, so he was interviewed, he was asked, uh, Mose, you were socially relevant before Bob Dylan and satirical before Randy Newman and rude before Mick Jagger. How come you're not a big star? And Dad replied, just lucky, I guess. He meant it. So everybody, enjoy the film. Wish I could be there to share it with you. But uh, I think you like it. Sit back and enjoy. Hmm.